Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we are back in our Magic Farm 3 world picking up a little while after we left off. Um, so, in between episodes, I did a little bit of work, kind of cleaned up as you guys can see. Started planting. Um, I'm going to mess with a little bit of the cross crop type stuff. Like you can see here, I put a crop in between and it grew. So, we got some stuff coming in. But what I did is I went down and started mining. Uh, went down to level 12 just to kind of look around and uh, ended up running into a bunch of silverfish, which was actually super handy because as you can see, I have 34 levels, but then also I got some myself some protection two boots they dropped. But the cool part is, and let me figure out where did I put it? Uh, I think up here. I did get our pick up to uh, redstone level. Uh, it's still bronze, but it's at mining level redstone, so I was able to get gold, I was able to get redstone, that kind of stuff. But they dropped silver nuggets, which is going to be super duper handy for us. So even though I'm not at the level where I can, I don't know if silver is going to mix with any of this stuff, I hope not. Um, even though I'm not at the level where I can necessarily get silver, because you need to be at silver mining level, I am at the level where I can, um, where I can basically make a silver, uh, pickaxe head. And then with that, then we'll be able to do some stuff, so. Um, some weird things have happened since I've been here. Um, I was up here planting some, you know, different foods and whatnot, and there was a creeper, and it looked like just a normal creeper was up underneath, but all of a sudden it started making all my dirt come un unhydrated. And then I don't know what happened because nothing blew up, but the bed downstairs, the one that we'd like our little spare bed down here, disappeared. It just, it, I, it apparently it was just like, screw this, I'm out of here, and it just left. So that was very weird. I did make another one of these seared tanks and then took it over to our lava, our lava area, and filled this up so that way we have it. Um, all right, so let's see. So the silver didn't, not mix and it's only two ingots but the good news is i don't need that much so let's make ourselves let's upgrade to silver okay this should be more than enough boom there we go let's head over here and uh let's upgrade our pick so i need this is what using copper i think this is bronze right oh i have copper nope i have bronze ingots wait is it bronze Oh, okay. I used copper for so long, I used that. All right, so we're going to upgrade this bad boy and add this. Boom. We got ourselves a uh, mining level of silver. Uh, it's okay durability. It's not great. The mining speed's okay, but we kept up all of our stuff on here. So, so now that we have that, let's head down here. I'll kind of show you what I did. I did run around and do some mining. It was mostly just copper and iron in these areas. Um, I did get some redstone, as you guys saw in the chest, but, um, so I started digging down this way, and there we go, that's exactly what I was looking for. So, boom, we're able to get silver now, which is going to be super helpful to upgrade some of our weapons, and I think that's what, this is, as you can see, where all the silverfish decided to be jerks. Um, but yeah, I mean, I didn't die, I don't think I died, no, I don't think I died, came close a couple times, but, um... But no, I was good, so... But as you can see, we got diamond, but we got to be at diamond level. Um, but it's nice to know that they're there. Uh, this, obviously, I had to make interesting ways to get around. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's diamond. It's like, why is it not breaking? Did this thing just unsilver itself? Um, I even got down here to some lava, which is going to be super handy. Let's see if we can get this without losing it or dying. And this one, okay. Let's hope there's no lava under here. There isn't, sweet. What about under here? We're still good. So I want to get this stuff because I would like to upgrade our, most of our tools. But I want to make sure not only am I getting enough to do the upgrades, but I'm also getting enough to have some extra to repair them. That's always important because I've done that. Like, 
so many times where I'm like, cool, I upgraded it. And it's like, oh, look, it's breaking and I can't do anything about it. That's that's even cooler. So, All right, so we're going to do a little bit of work um, today on our tools and our sword. See if we can kind of beef them up a little bit. Um, probably, because we do have a ton of iron, maybe try and get into... Uh, some a little bit of armor uh, there is something I would like to make as long as time is permitting I would like to make a uh, maybe we'll make you know what I'm thinking I'm sorry I'm just thinking out loud we may make our matic our shovel and our axe copper level because I have a lot of copper and then just worry about the silver for our uh, for our sword and our pickaxe is already there for repairs. So, all right, so let's get this. We got 16 in this, gonna give us 32 ingots worth. That's solid. All right, let's head up here. Let's grab ourselves some copper uh, somewhere in here. Yeah, we got plenty. You can see I have blocks. Actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna cook this down. Um, let's see what's in our smeltery today. Because we got bronze. Oh, we already have some copper in there. So. All right, so what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to make ourselves uh, some patterns. So let's see, and I probably should have grabbed more cobble. But that gives us an axe pattern. Um, I don't think I don't think we can make a matic pattern because you make a matic by putting the hey, either way. All right, so let's um, let's make a couple other. Did I not grab wood? I didn't. That's what I actually went up there for. All right, so we're going to make a couple more patterns. And we're going to get set up. Basically, my plan is, is that I want us to be able to adventure out a little bit. Um, and to do that, we're going to have to make sure that we have all the tools we need. All right. Cool. There we go. Let's do this. Let's just make a bunch of them because it doesn't hurt to have extras. Because as time progresses, we are going to upgrade this or I'm sorry, upgrade this and start making a hammer and a lumber axe and, and some other cool stuff. Because honestly, look, the thing is, in here, I've never made, like, a frying pan. I have one in ME4, but I've never made one. Um, I've never made a battle sign. I've never made a, uh, what is it, a scythe. Um, I've actually, I don't even know if I've ever actually made the bow and arrow of them. Why would this go in there? Okay, so let's make ourselves a shovel head pad. Where did these patterns go? Because we had them at one point. Um, let's go ahead and make ourselves, you know, let's just make a bunch of these, even if we're not going to use them at this moment. Um, I think it's this one is what we need for the sword blade. Uh, let's make one of these ones just to have. Uh, all right, so that's we need two of those. We need one of those. We need one of those. I'm not going to worry about my hand guard right now. So, okay, cool. All right, so let's see what we got in here. So we got some copper. So let's go ahead and we got that. We've already taken care of that. Oh, wait, we need two of those, don't we? Yeah. Oh, no, we only need one to make the cast. Just making cast right now. All right, got that. So that gives us that for that cast. Take that out. Do the same with this. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's get this because it just doesn't hurt to have. Uh, take that. And then hopefully that should be enough to cover this. And it is. Cool. All right. So let's make these casts. How much? Uh, I don't have a lot of aluminum brass. So let's kind of see what we can get away with. So let's go priority here. So let's go this. All right, how does that give us? Ah, I didn't take that much. All right, and then let's go this bad boy. We only need to make, we need two of these, but we only need one cast. And then let's make this. All right. Hopefully we have enough to make the last two. Really, once these are done, I don't have really any need for aluminum brass. So. All right, and finally that one. And it was enough. Cool. Okay. So let's uh, let's make our sword blade first. All right. Let's put that down. Make sure we got silver at the bottom. We do do that. 
All right. Ah, that was the... Well, looks like something's getting a tool rod. All right. I wanted this with silver. All right. There we go. All right. So let's upgrade our sword real quick. Uh, I need to repair this with flint first off. So let's, let's kind of get a look at this thing. So uh, durability is 121. Um, attack, 2.5 hearts. Okay. That's actually the main thing we're looking at there. So, all right, let's see. So if we put this in here, we should be able to put this in there. Can I really not upgrade the... Why can I not upgrade this? Okay, so maybe we're going to make ourselves a new sword. This one doesn't have... It has neurotic on it. Ooh. Sprint damage, 4.5 hearts. Max stone bound loss. Modifiers. It has neurotic on it, which I think is... I think, yeah, it has lifesteal. Why can I not upgrade this? Let's see. That is the longsword. Longsword... Yeah, it's a normal blade. Well, maybe we'll make another one. So maybe we'll make a different one. Well, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So let's make... Um, I think it's this one we want. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's see if we have enough to cast this one. Yep. All right. I know this isn't super exciting just doing tinker stuff, but it is stuff we need to do, and you guys are always yelling at me. Dad, but Modi, upgrade your tools. You're being stupid. Cut it out. So here we are. I'm upgrading my tools. I'm not being stupid. Well. All right, is 48 going to be enough? You're going to stop, aren't you? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm all right. Everything's good. I knew we had a little bit extra in here. I was just really hoping that was going to be enough. But no, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Me. Okay, so while that does that, let's uh, switch to Molten Silver and let's get ourselves out a couple of blocks worth so we can get some ingots to take with us. All right. Gimme. All right, that's done, so we get that out of the way. All right, let's try this again. There's that. Finish it off. And let's see, what should we make this out of? Let's let's mix it up. Let's go bronze on this. I don't know why, just for fun. All right, let's head over here. Let's uh, let's pick this one. Yeah, I picked the right one. All right, and this gives us a reinforced one silver broadsword. Uh, it right now it's not that great, but we're gonna use it and basically beef it up a little bit so okay so let's uh let's finish getting the parts we need so we're gonna need one of these and we decided to go copper or why don't I want to go copper or bronze let's go copper because I have a lot of copper all right so we're gonna get copper in here while this is doing this we must get the rest of this copper in here all right so there's one of those and then we're gonna need two of this bad boy one for our actual axe and then one for our uh Armatic. Okay. All right. There's those. Uh, let's see. Let's. Is that all we needed? Maybe we'll upgrade this on here. Let's go. Let's go silver as well on this one. How many ingots does that leave us? 22. Yeah, that's good. And then just for funsies, ah, we'll leave it like that for right now. Okay, so first off, let me see. Oh, God, I already did damage to it. Really? That's how quickly it went through? All right, whatever. All right, so let's do this. I know this is a little bit of a waste, but eh, whatever. All right, let's do that. Let's get in here. Let's do this plus this. All right, cool. That's awesome. What was this at? This was at comfortable. Yeah, we didn't really do a whole lot of fighting, so. Okay, uh, let's repair a couple of these. I know this is 
made of stone, so we repair from there. This is made from flint. Yeah, that goes from there. And this boy, bad boy, is already replaced. So let's do this plus this. Gets us up there. That should give us a new set of trees that we can uh, we can take care of. Oh, really? It's only going to let us do one? Well, that's weird. Okay, so if I take it out, and then can I add this? There we go. All right, and then we need to do this bad boy. Oh, I needed to make two shovels. Ah, poop. All right. Wow, my brain, like, completely just froze. I'm like, what is happening? I don't understand what's going on. Uh, copper, and boom. All right. Thank you. All right, let's go in here. Let's finish this bad boy up. Can I really not add that to it? What if, can I change this to flint? I cannot upgrade this at all. Oh, wait, that, that was on me. That was on me. All right, let's see if we can, because I made this one out of stone. Let's see if we can upgrade it to flint, and then maybe it'll let us upgrade it from there. Or maybe it'll just shut its stupid mouth. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't do a whole lot of digging. So Okay, so let's, uh, let's get in here. Let's put some of these away. Actually, we'll keep that one on us um, because we got to put that one back. Uh, we'll throw these. Oh, I can't throw those in there. I probably should put a chest down here, to be honest with you. Uh, let's put this here. And put that away. All right, let's go dump some of these extra things off. And all right, so like I said, next episode, the goal is to get out there and get smacking, basically. All right, so I have... I don't need bronze, I need the silver, so. Okay, so we're gonna leave this this here, but we're gonna grab a little bit of copper. We got a little bit of silver, that should uh, hold us over for a while. We got that sword, we got a bucket, we got stone, so these are all our repair stuff. I really don't need the flint anymore, because I don't have anything that's flint anymore. Okay, so, uh, what else I want to do, because like I said, it's, hello. Um, what I want to do this episode before we finish up, because like I said, next episode we're going to go out adventuring and see what we can gather. Uh, I did make a little bit of food in between episodes, so let's uh, do that. Okay, I want to make... Uh, what is it called? Is it a squeezer? Uh, it's under Pam's. It is, it was actually something I should have made for our kitchen and I forgot because it's not up here with the rest of the stuff. I don't think it is. Oh, it's a presser. All right, so we need two pistons, which we can do now because I got redstone. So cobble, wood, iron, and redstone. All right. So, whoop, that's, that's the wrong direction. Sometimes I forget. Uh, let's see. So we need some wood. Some more cobble. Uh, we need some redstone. We need a little bit of iron. Okay. So let's do this. So there. Two of these. One and two. Perfect. Okay. And then we just need this. Cool. Got it. All right. Uh, let's put some of the stuff away. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need that. And I don't need that. Okay, cool. So basically what this presser does is it is another one of the uh, kind of kitchen pieces that I don't know why I didn't make last episode. All right, so basically what you do is you take something like a soybean and you put it in here and you see this little bar go across and that's going to give us uh, soy milk. And I think we put the soy milk in again and that will give us silken tofu. So, if we look at this, right, and we hit uses. Um, okay, silken tofu doesn't have any uses. We put it in again. Now, that, that soy milk will actually take the place of milk in any recipe, okay? So, that's something that's going to be handy because then we don't have to go to the cows to try and bite us in the neck. 
as you can see I've got some soybeans planted here and I'll kind of explain what this is for you guys that don't know um, what you can do is if you have a seed down and then you put cross crops around it um, with the with the top bar on them they one of two things will happen they'll eventually spread or weeds will grow on that cross crop so what I found is is that if we have a bunch of mature ones here with one in the middle generally the the actual thing will grow quicker than than uh, the um, weeds will so all right so we have our tofu we have firm tofu the cool part about this if we look at uses tofu actually is a replacement in most recipes for meat so once again even though it's not that hard to kill the cow we can basically grow a meat substitute so as you can see we've got a beet burger the tofu takes the place of the meat now we can make the same thing with you know raw steak but you know so as you can see there is 61 pages of things that firm tofu is in that means there's 122 recipes for food that firm tofu is a part of and you can see almost anything from cakes to crackers to chicken to burgers to salads so it is something handy to have and uh what is all this yeah whatever um and we can even make a minecraft cake using tofu in the middle and honey wow it changed up the recipe pretty hard so so we've got that and this thing doesn't require any power um if we actually look at the uses on this bad boy oh it doesn't actually show us what we can cook in there is there a recipe thing in here somewhere there we go so kiwis in the kiwi juice um we can get a lot of the juices from the different things um that's the soy milk we just made apples and apple juice that's handy because keep in mind apples and apple juice are two completely separate things so we can eat and drink them to get our nourishment up and they won't harm each other um oh wow bubbly water Ooh, that sounds fun what's the uses on bubbly water we can make lemon lime soda oh we can make soda do they have cola pepsi spice leaf sure we can make this i don't think we have any spice leaves i'm gonna make some cola do we have spice leaves Sometimes using this big thing is a little bit trickier because I, I don't have them all memorized yet where they go. Uh, come on. Give me some spice leaves. Some Modi can have some... Eh, whatever. All right. But, um, yeah, so that's handy. So, okay. One other thing I wanted to make before we call this, and the weird part is I had one of these, and that's rack. Uh, rack. I, ha I made one of these in between episodes because of the, the weeds. And then um, I guess I was walking around and hit Q with it in my hand and didn't notice and it just disappeared. I don't know where it went. Well, I mean, I saw myself throw it. It was outside on the little bridge over here, right on this little bridge. And it popped in between the slab and the railing. And I'm not joking. I spent 20 minutes in this area running around looking for where the heck my rake went and by the end i was like ah, i don't care i don't care all right so to make a rake real simple bang and boom we got ourselves a iron hand rake and then if we see here grab some of these cross crops and we come out here and let's just say we we just put these down all right actually we do it like this all right, in this pack, they really kind of took the whole cross-crop agri-craft thing to the next level where they brought in weeds. And I guess weeds can really destroy your farm pretty quickly. So, yeah. What this does, if there's weeds here, if I just click on it, it gets rid of the weed. Do I have any weeds? Oh, there we go. Weeds have sprouted. Boom. Weeds are gone. Doesn't break the cross-crop. Doesn't hurt anything. Um, I don't think you can use it on anything that isn't a weed. So that's pretty quick if you're just kind of coming through and trying to de-weed your garden. So that's it's pretty pretty handy. Not, not a bad thing to have. Not a bad thing to have. Won't complain. So, um, 
And I, you, some of you guys had said that, you know, if I made an unlimited water supply, by the way, I don't remember if you guys saw that where I finished running those out there. Um, you guys had said, or I remember somebody, or one or two people saying in the comments that, that's my bed, I went to the wrong level. If I made an unlimited water supply on top of this, that it would auto fill up. I did, and it didn't. So, one other thing. Oh, do they have it in here? Siding, siding, siding. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have it in here. There's basically, I know in regrowth, there's a block that you can kind of make and it'll start filling up water on its own and you can attach it to these things. But I am not, oh, we're gonna make a crossbow at some point, it's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it in here, so they must not have it. So we'll have to figure something out to get the water in there. Like I said, it doesn't really quite work that great as it does on regrow, so I'm not too concerned about it. To be honest, it just looks awesome, so. All right, guys, well, there we go. You know what, actually, you know what? Last thing before we leave, what we are gonna do, and I know it doesn't seem like much, but we are going to make ourselves the last bits of our um, armor here. Actually, wow, I keep remembering things I wanted to look at. All right, so we got that. Ah, oh, I made boots, darn it. All right, let's, I got an next pair of boots, yay. All right, let's try this again, so. Uh, that and that. Okay, so at least we're fully armored now. We got a couple of extra pair of boots just in case our other ones get wet. I don't know. Um, oh, tofu straight up is just a snack. Okay, so uh, what was the other thing I wanted to make? Um, I wanted to look up bag. Okay, so we have a lot of these. Okay, see the problem with these is they only store certain things. Um, stores ingots, tinkers construct items. Well, I mean, this is kind of cool because it'll automatically put it in there. What? Ooh, golden bag of holding. Oh, uh, what's that? Nine. Ten, oh, it's a diamond. Darn it. And magical wood. We need. Yeah, we don't have that. Let's see. Is there. What about backpack? Uh, yeah, see, these are the ones, once again, that are just for specific things. Apparently, I can't make these ones. Wow, they are not liking us for bags. Okay, and last thing, um, I was trying to see if there was a sleeping bag, and there is not, so... All right, well, there we go. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out we're going to go on an adventure next episode. Kind of want to head out that way, see if we can get some different trees because we do have our second level up here that is set up for, um, that's water, for trees for like our little forest. And as you can see, we got a couple oak trees going out here. So this is what our plan is. We're going to go see if we, now that we have a copper pickaxe or a copper axe, we should be able to get some stuff, gather some more food on the way. Um, maybe hopefully get some seeds to stuff that we don't already have. That would be super handy. Uh, yeah. So we'll do that next episode. We're also going to be looking for trees, fruit trees, so we can break the fruit so that we can add them. Because I'm thinking about making this up here because we got like our regular trees for wood. I'm thinking this one is going to be our fruit tree orchard. And then I'm thinking about using this to start getting into Batania soon. So we are going to be out looking for a handful of things. So, all right, guys, we're going to end it there. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section. And until the next episode of Magic Farm 3, I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed having you guys here. I fell in water. That's how excited I was. And we will see you guys next